Hello, today we are going to show you how to report an internship in Orion for JSOM students. Your first step will be to navigate to your Orion student profile. You will then ensure that you are on the correct tab, the UTD Student Center tab. From there, you will select My Academics. Once you select that, you'll go to the bottom and select Request Internship for Credit. You will select Internship Questionnaire, and then you will be com begin completing the required information. You will select the program, Accounting. You will select if it is a full-time job or an internship. You will then select the amount of credit hours. We're going to select two. You will then select when you are graduating. We are going to select December 17th. You will then select the semester you will be registering the internship. We are going to select fall 2021. From there, you will select create new request. Here, you will upload your job description and your job offer. We will start with a job description. We will put our description as job description and JD in the comment section. You will add from my device. You will upload your job description. Select upload and done. And then you will select submit. After that, you will do the same thing for your offer letter. Select upload job offer. Here we will put offer letter. And for our comment, we will put OL. You can put the comment you would like. We'll add my device, offer letter, upload, and done. From there, you will submit it. After you're done submitting your documents, you will select OK and continue to internship questions. The first question is job title. For this, we will put accounting intern. The next question is company name. I'm going to copy and paste, but here you will actually type in the company name. The next question will be salary. For this, we will put in $15 per hour. For the start date, we are going to put August 16th. For the end date, we are going to put December 10th. On question six, you will choose the hours per week. Indicate the number of hours to be worked per week, one through 40. This cannot be a range. If it is more than 40 hours per week, select 40 plus. We are going to select 40. And next question. Question seven is total hours. What are the total number of hours you expect to have worked by the end of this internship? Select a range from the drop down menu. We are going to select 300 or over. Next question. Question eight is company address. What is your employer's address? Here you will type in your employer address. We are going to use the example address. Physical work address. Is your physical work address the same as the employer address? If yes, please type yes. If not, please give your work location street address. If assigned by your employer to a client location, please include the company name. Here we are going to type yes because our work location is the same as the employer address. Next question. Question 10 is supervisor contact information. Here you will provide your supervisor contact information. 
please ensure that when you type it in, it is properly spelled and the, informa and the information is correct. Next question. Question 11 is your commitment to your employer. I understand that by accepting this offer verbally or by email that I've made a commitment to this employer for the time frame listed in the offer. I also understand that if I renege on this internship that there are consequences consequences which will result in failure of the internship slash CPT course. However, if there are concerns with the employer experience or type of work, please discuss with the CMC or your program director before making a decision. We are going to select yes. Question 12. I agree to cease the pursuit of additional internship opportunities for this semester, including emails, phone calls, and interviews. Question 13, the internship course enrollment. I understand that if my internship is approved, I will be enrolled in the internship course for the number of credit hours approved or the number of hours I requested, whichever is smaller. Tuition fees must be paid for credit hours. We're going to select yes and next question. Question 14, late fees. I understand if I am approved, I'll be enrolled in either the full term session or the second five or eight week session. If I choose to be enrolled into a session that requires paying a late fee, I must advise or I must notify advising. We're going to select yes and next question. Question 15. I understand that I cannot change the number of credit hours for my internship course once registration has been completed. We are going to select yes. Question 16, internship course assignments. I understand that the internship course includes assignments which must be completed by the due date. We are going to select yes and next question. Question 17, maintaining the GPA requirement. I understand that if my GPA falls below 3.0 after the internship has been approved, that my internship must be terminated. We are going to select yes. Next question. Question 18. Before you submit, if you have skipped a question, you will be unable to submit. Also check that the answers are in the format requested. When all questions have been answered, you will see the submit button. Once you submit your request, you will be unable to make changes to the survey answers. UCC will be able to make changes for you. You may receive requests to add more information or documents. Please respond promptly to any requests. You're going to select yes, and then we are going to save progress. Once you save progress, you will receive this notification. You have completed the request questions. Please review your answers and click the submit button. We're going to select OK and then we are going to submit our internship request. Are you sure you want to submit your internship request? Yes. Once your internship request has been submitted, you will receive an email. I'm going to select OK. And this has been how to report an internship in Orion for JSOM students. If you have any questions, please chat with us online at the link provided or find answers to questions at JSOM CMC Answer Center or email us at jindal.career at utdallas.edu. Thank you.